What's up, ABG? I'm Taylor. And I'm Victoria, and we'd like to welcome you to the second season of The Purple. Perhaps you've noticed that the Student Activity Center is not yet open. And we're not here to criticize the pace of the administration. We're here to fill you in on some of the rumors going around campus. Now, there's a lot of mystery surrounding this new uh, student center. And so we're going to tell you what's true and what isn't. The student center is not in full operation yet with only gym opened. However, there are a lot of rumors evolving around the opening dates and the usage details. Let's find out what students and administration have to say. I think it's only for a reason. Mm, I've noticed this because a lot of unknown guys were here playing volleyball or basketball sometimes. You should talk to the trainer, like supervisor, if they want to enter the gym. They will give some places for other people if they pay. I don't think so. I don't know, seeing some black people practicing in the gym. I think it's good. It's sometimes. great to have it's great to have other people too, not only ABG students. People from Black Webgrad can come to the um, I don't know what is the name of it. The audition center or what is it? For the theater. They can come and use it. As far as I heard they're gonna be like at least five hundred doors more. Uh, I did not hear anything like that, but I know that they obviously increased student activity fee in order to maintain their new student service. No. Seriously? No, I haven't heard of this. Oh, really? That's not all. I haven't heard of that. No, I hear it for the first time. I already applied for it. Uh, if there is something like um, some kind of events, they will hire some students who will serve. Uh, no, I don't. The absolute plan is to have it open the Monday after spring break. So when classes resume, everything here should be open. The gym is, is open primarily for ABGers. Um, we're looking at the possibility of putting some things in place for potentially to let people from in town use it, but the students have first priority. It's students, faculty, staff. The initial rehearsals for things like the musical, where they're just learning dance steps and things, will continue to be in the fitness center, in SCAPTA 1, in SCAPTA 2 on the dance floors to keep the room open over here for other events that are happening while they're rehearsing. Of course, things like dress rehearsals leading up to any theater event or anything would be on the stage. We have to abide by all of the Bulgarian um, health and safety codes. There's an organization here in Bulgaria called HACCP that anyone who's working in food services has to meet their codes in terms of health certificates and blood tests. Um, if we possibly can, it would be wonderful to have students who, ha especially students who have gone to the states and have experience as baristas or doing interesting things, we'd like to have them have that possibility, but we have to follow the laws. So we're looking into it right now. I can't confirm whether it's true or not. I will confirm that it's something that we'd like to see happen got a lovely running track, a full-size gym, we've got a beautiful fitness center, which you saw in operation. We've got a cafe that I can hardly wait to use. We've got a beautiful restaurant on the top floor. This is going to be a great place to bring prospective students because the admissions office is much nicer than the old one. The registrar should be able to uh, help you with anything. For this installment, we've got Jan and Taisia, a sweet international couple coming to us from Bulgaria and Russia. And they've done what every dorm room couple has dreamed of doing. They got their own apartment. Now they're letting us in on their humble abode. Hey guys! We well, Jan and Tess, welcome, welcome to, to our crib. crib. So let's go and you can see our living room and the kitchen. This is our couch where we have a lot of sex. 
is where we usually hang out most of the day, doing something on the computer, by next to each Study, other. Study, eat, and just watching movies and stuff. This is our little library thing, where we keep pretty much all of our junk stuff. There's stuff from Prague, from Kazakhstan, from Venice, Barcelona, everywhere in state. And this is my birthday present for me. It's Lego. I got him a Lego for birthday present. Wait, in order for him to build a house. Here is our, our baby. Our little baby. Daughter. She's a girl and her name is Rizuba. Yes, and she's five months old. And she likes to kiss. No. This boards, I think it's like it's like the same like um, the one with the souvenirs, but it's like tickets from places we've been. Okay, now guys, I'm gonna show you my kitchen. On the way to the kitchen, we have a puzzle. We get in a puzzle from each place that we ever been to. So this is our kitchen. I'm so sorry, I'm home. Um, we have a lot of random random stuff like stove and everything. We have very cool cups. That Jan's aunt made for us. I'm proud of them. They're very cute. Magnets again from all over the world. From Venice, from Barcelona, from Zagreb. I have wine. But we never drink it. Exactly. We have my niece, we have juice, we have coke. Um, some meat, pastet, sausages. Okay, let's be honest, it has its pros and its cons, but it has more pros. I mean, you do, you do lose the the cup the scapto fun and the socializing and but you can always go back to scapto if you really yeah. miss it you can arrange your time the way you want it and you know that you're not gonna get interrupted uh, and the privacy are I don't think they can be replaced and having the kitchen even though we don't go that often it's, it's great having your own bed having your own everything yeah, definitely and a big bed what's the price okay. Um, 220 per month, which about 8 months is 1,700 level, which is which is less than you pay this capital. Just so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go to the bedroom. This is our very nice bed where we can do all kinds of positions. And exercises. And exercise, yes, physical. These are all posters from our extracurriculars, extracurricular activities. Yeah, I just want to show you this one. It's my most precious poster. It's uh, from Jan Tiersen's concert in uh, Sofia. And he signed it. Personal He signed it with his fingers. Yes. Okay. Check out the size of this poster. Small. For two people. It's pretty small. One of in for two people and one is a girl. The best part of the day is when you come back and you lay down. And you just relax. You relax, we read the book. Do some boogie boogie. Sometimes. It's our first picture together. together. Yeah. First picture ever. Very romantic. I love you. Oh. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we've got a pretty fascinating community here at UBG. And you might expect some tension from a student body as diverse as ours, but things have been going pretty smoothly for the most part. Sometimes though, things can get a little weird. Violeta Vasilu, a senior from Moldova, recently got a taste of just how friendly some people can get. On January 28th, a student whose identity we still don't know abused the account of another AUBG student. 1,694 pages worth 97 leva were printed from this computer number 9, carrying the same message. Next time, close your account. I had a 9 a.m. class with Dinka Spirovska in uh, GMC Lab 1 to 1. And um, we have been working in, in uh, Adobe Illustrator. So when I uh, logged off from my account, probably I did not notice that the Adobe Illustrator program was still running. I have been told that the printer started to work at 16.07. I presume that the perpetrator did this uh, in the break. And especially since we know that the printers usually take a lot of time to warm up and start printing paper, especially when it's such a great amount. I went to Sullivan, but I did not manage to uh, arrange a meeting with him. His secretary just told me to write him an email and I forwarded the email to Lydia Kreis. I have no idea whatsoever who the person is, 
and I don't know whether this act was uh, addressed in particular towards me or just towards me as a representative of the AUBG community. Thank you very much. Next time I will definitely close my account. Whatever this means. You should have said Loha. I was walking to OCC and uh, a student stopped me in the hallway and, and so he showed me what was going on in the printers. I still didn't understand what it was. And then he said, look, and he showed me the other printer too. And he said, so there were two stacks that were this, you know, this high at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so uh, then I realized what was going on. And he said, yeah, this is like wrong. It's unethical. I can't believe somebody would do this. It was still printing, by the way. It just kept going. It was going and nobody could stop it. Like you press the you know, the button to get it stopped, it wouldn't stop. Our class starts at 4 o'clock and the students were doing a quiz at, at, during that, uh, probably the first, first 7 to 10 minutes of the class, they were writing, uh, they were writing on paper maybe half an hour into the class. Somebody from OCC came in and, you know, was asking uh, for computer number nine, computer number nine, and checked the surveillance cameras. There was not working surveillance cameras inside the computer lab where the student was working, but there's one outside uh, at the time that the incident took place. Uh, but according to the camera footage in that period of time, there was multiple number of people coming and going out of the computer lab, so it's not possible to narrow it down to one or two persons to talk to. The policy is that uh, every student's account is charged for all the copies that are printed from that student's account. What happened to this particular student was a malicious event. I would like to get my hands on the person that was responsible for it. Fines are possible, suspensions from the university are possible, other disciplinary measures are possible, dismissal from the university is possible. We may look into implement a system in which you would have to, after you hit the print button to print something, you go to the printer to pick it up, you'd have to swipe your ID card to activate the printer. And then the ID card would match you know, the ID of the person swiping the card with the account in the queue being printed and then the print drop would come out. You may have noticed the police officers parked out on the crosswalks near Skato 3. Thankfully, you're probably feeling a little bit safer now on your walk to the main building. It makes you wonder, though, why are they there? Just take a closer look and you'll find out the details. Every AOBG student should have noticed by now the men in uniform staying on different sides of the zebra crossing near Skato. Every day they regulate the traffic and keep an eye out for violators. The Purple decided to find out the reason why cops serve their duty near the ABG campus. Точно Моментите в 